And we'll do a bypass test. Shove this uh, on the piston. So we seal off this line and all our pressure and flow on this line go between the gland and the piston. If there's any failure in the, the piston seals, the fluid will bypass. We would actually see the rod extend. If that happens, the cylinder won't actually be able to hold any load as it's supposed to. The cylinder will tend to, to creep down yep. if it's trying to hold any weight. Not good. The cylinder's still very nice and dry. Yep, we'll mark a line. We'll leave the pressure on for five minutes. You'll see the line moving out this way. Right now we're putting pressure on this side. So if it leaks past the piston, it'll fill oil in the back of the tube and push it outwards. If they have a holding application, so if they want to like lift something and hold it there in that position, and then like, you know, come back in a couple hours and it's still there. Yeah. If it's got a bypass leak, they'll come back in a couple hours and it'll drift down. Yeah, it's holding pressure between the gland and the piston right now. It's just holding at that pressure. 